Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's do a level 120 review of You Are Helena. For some reason, I didn't realize that I had to make this video until the, uh, the video that came out on the official channel, and I was like, oh yeah, she's coming out. <laughs> but like the last couple weeks, I've been very uh, involved in Arena, and then most of the videos that I've been doing have been about Arena. Uh, but thankfully, in a lot of those, I was using Helena, so uh, that's kind of appropriate. At this point, I've used her so much, and I've shown her off so much, and she's kind of like the most talked about unit of the last four months, that there's really nothing that I or anyone can say about her at this point. Uh, everybody knows that they want her, and they know if they're going to pull for her or not. But I guess what I can do is that, um, you know, I had all those videos where I show off uh, where I'm using her. Here I can kind of talk about my impressions about the different skills and then about her uh, playstyle overall. But I guess first we'll look at her uh, status. Uh, she has some decent uh, resistances. She does have a support ability to raise the magic, but she has some innate magic, uh, some innate slash. And 15 actually is a good starting point, I think, for a resistance build, so that's kind of surprising. And then her Trustmaster is one of the craziest things about her. Uh, a little bit of HP, some magic, that's cool. Some agility, that's also very nice. And then a self buff, which will give her barriers uh, for three hits and then raise her agility for three turns. Without this, I would say she's a very kind of a typical, a very powerful, but a very typical uh, back row magic attacker. But with this, suddenly she is able to get close. She can walk out into the middle of the battlefield, close the gap, maybe uh, get more guys with her big AoE attacks. I think uh, her survivability is going to uh, surprise a lot of people. It's not always the best thing on her. Maybe sometimes you might want to use like a Garble's Trustmaster uh, for more uh, attack. But yeah, that is a very nice Trustmaster. Unfortunately, it can only be uh, equipped by sort of like magic uh, user types, uh, like all the mages, clerics, calculators, uh, rune knights, people like that. But yeah, if you want to go against Helena, a barrier breaker might be a good uh, idea. In my uh, recent tier list video, I recommended taking Federica EX uh, versus Helena. I think that's uh, still a good idea. All right, we got her uh, three jobs. We got the uh, the Black Rose uh, Witch, I guess, and then we got Spellblade and then a Calculator subjobs. When she was announced in JP, people saw the Calculator subjob like, oh my god, she's so powerful. I don't actually use it a lot, however. Uh, it's good for farming, uh, but for uh, like PvP, I will generally use the uh, the Black Rose subjob. I feel like the damage output from Calculator is not so hot, and then uh, being able to instant cast, not as big of a deal for her, but we'll look at that uh, in a second. Alright, let's head into the board, let's have a look at her skills. Okay, main job, Black Rose Helena. All of her skills are good, basically. <laughs> Uh, but here is a uh, big AoE, we'll break spirit and then do medium damage, and then also break AP. Uh, this is one of her EX job uh, upgraded skills. This is going to be one of her uh, bread and butter attacks. Uh, being able to break spirit is much stronger than uh, like penetration, uh, because this can go down uh, below zero, so even if you're fighting somebody with zero spirit, you can take it into the negative, do some great damage. Okay, here's Saber. This is a uh, AoE self buff. This will raise uh, accuracy for uh, everybody in there, and then for own self will uh, speed up casting time. Uh, accuracy is becoming more and more important with more uh, evadey characters, uh, especially with like 2B out there. Uh, but this self buff combined with uh, some other stuff uh, available to her will make it so that she hits very well, and then you don't even need a 100% hit attack with her. She'll still miss sometimes, of course, but uh, she will hit more often than not. Okay, here is a non-elemental attack. Uh, this will break barriers. Good range, little bit of AoE. I don't see her use this very often. Oh, maybe it's off, maybe that's why. <laughs> But yeah, she will generally do the right thing. If somebody does have barriers, uh, she will use this skill. 
Okay, next we got Dark. Uh, this is a very cheap skill, only 12, uh, 8 uses per battle. Uh, small damage. I uh, turn this off for PvP as well. Okay, next we got Drain. Gives her a little bit of uh, sustainability. And then she does not have this uh, blue icon here. Uh, what that is, is Reflect. Uh, so Drain, if you know you're going to go against Reflect, this is going to be one of her very few attacks that can get through. Uh, maybe this and her Limit Break. Okay, and then here, this is her uh, job level 25 skill. Uh, single target, a bit of range, and then 100% hit. I rarely see her use this in battle, even against evade characters. Uh, generally, her accuracy is high enough uh, that she can use more powerful, uh, bigger AoE attacks uh, than this one. Okay, then we got the, uh, the Black Witch, Black Rose subjob. Uh, first we have uh, Darkra. This one's okay, a little bit of range, a little bit of AoE, small damage. Uh, but Dark 2, this is one of her best attacks actually. Uh, but this is a single target, uh, medium damage, but will hit twice. The AI for Black Rose Helena I found is pretty good. Uh, first, she will use some kind of break, either her Limit Break or the Spirit Break. And then after that, she will use like an attack like this, uh, build chains, do good damage, and uh, save herself some AP at the same time. So, yeah, I like this one, like Dark 2. Then she has a uh, Berserk and Confuse, uh, some uh, status effect uh, TP skills, usually turn those off. Okay, then we can look at uh, Spellblade subjob. This one has the, um, the Magic Resist, AoE self buff to raise magic resistance. I guess if you know you're going to go against an all magic team, this could be good. Um, also, if you wanted to manipulate AI for a PvP, this might be good. And then you got uh, Track Spell, Dark Blade, Dark Blade, and Bio Blade. I pretty much never use this uh, sub job, as you can see from the uh, skill levels. A Track Spell might be interesting for the, uh, the hate generation. Uh, in conjunction with her Trustmaster, uh, the barriers might help her take a few attacks, but tanking and then like tying up units is not what she is good at. She's better at doing damage, so I don't see the attraction of the uh, Spellblade subjob. Okay, last we got uh, Calculator. Height 3, don't act. Uh, level 4, Darkra. CT average. Height 3, Cura. Uh, height... Dark and Height Cure. I said before that I like to use this job for uh, farming, but I also like to use it for PvE. And then, especially if I take a, a Mono Dark team into a battle, uh, I can use her as my healer. And uh, she's been very useful for that, so to be able to go back and forth between healing and doing damage in a manual play is very nice. And then that brings me to a good point. Um, I used this Black Rose Helena as I was working on her. So I used her at 89, I used her at 99, I used her at 107, I used her at 115. She's good at all those levels, uh, but for kind of like different areas. Uh, maybe like the lower levels, she's good for PvE. Uh, the higher levels, of course, she's uh, better for PvP. Uh, but yeah, the cost 100 units in particular uh, I would say that they're usable at every uh, level. So yeah, don't feel like it's uh, EX jobs or nothing. You can still get good use out of them at 89. Okay, next let's look at a support abilities. Uh, she's got these two calculator ones. Height 3 becomes 2, level 4 becomes 3. Again, I never use these because don't really use a calculator too much. Um, so that leaves uh, these two, which are on like 99% of the time. Uh, but this will greatly increase magic, uh, will lower her own spirit, and then uh, shorten casting time. So that's another uh, way for her to shorten that. Uh, this is also upgraded with uh, EX jobs. And then uh, here, Spellblade. This might be the reason why she has the uh, Spellblade subjob. Uh, but this will raise magic resistance and then also uh, light resistance. And then a reaction abilities. She has a counter energy. Uh, when she's hit with damage, she will restore own AP. I never have run out of AP with her, now that I think about it, so I don't think you need this. <laughs> and then uh, Magic Guard, again, if you're going against a uh, heavy magic team, that might be good. But I feel like Helena, she can just do so much damage at so much range, 
that she's going to get first hit in anyways. Uh, good chance of one-punching guys. And then uh, the reaction ability that I use the most is the damage split. Uh, when she hits it with damage, she will counterattack and then uh, drain. So some more uh, sustainability there. Okay, limit break. Uh, big AoE, big damage. She can cast it from turn one. Uh, will imperil dark resistance and then do big damage. Very powerful attack. This can one punch a lot of guys. And uh, the AI wants to use this. <laughs> All right, and then we got the uh, the master ability. Got the uh, typical dark party buff. And then let's see, magic resistance penetration twenty. That's kind of major. And then uh, magic up ten percent. So the way penetration works is that it looks at the magic resistance of the um, the opponent. Uh, let's say it's fifty. Uh, it will take away, it'll act as if 20% of that is not there. Um, so 20% of 50 is 10, so it'll be like the guy has uh, 40 magic resistance. So it's not amazing, it's not like a break, uh, but there are also other sources of uh, magic resistance penetration that you can get, and you might be able to cut it by like 50, 60%, and that would be very strong. Uh, let's see, one of those again is the uh, the Garble Trustmaster. Uh, let's see, that is this guy here. Uh, and then, coming along with Helena, there will be a craftable rod, the uh, Cypress Pile. Uh, if you get the plus 5, you'll get uh, 20 magic resistance penetration there, so 40 in all, that's pretty crazy. Um, I got the aim type, uh, 12 accuracy. Again, with her, there are so many ways to raise her accuracy, uh, including this rod, that you don't really need the 100% uh, hit attack. Uh, but let's go back to the board. We'll look at uh, EX jobs. Uh, the job level 25 skill is the 100% hit attack. But because she is a cost 100 unit uh, with the, uh, the double price shards, it might be attractive to stay at 115. You won't get as much stats, you won't get the 100% hit attack. Uh, but you can save yourself, what, 20,000 vision ore? <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's great at 115. I used her for a while there. And uh, yeah, she was very good. For damage dealers, you do kind of want them as strong as possible because, you know, sometimes the difference between one punching a guy or not can mean winning or losing. But uh, she's plenty powerful at 115, so yeah, I wouldn't rush for 120, if you can't. Alright, and then um, there's also the, uh, the Helena Vision card, which came out a while ago. I guess I can show you that. Uh, but this will give you more accuracy. Uh, the uh, level 99 skill that will give all dark units more accuracy. And then the uh, personal ability, also accuracy. And I guess I can talk about uh, Shadow Flare. I usually turn this off because I feel like her other attacks are better. And then kind of the novelty of drawing guys in and then the uh, area of effect break is not as good uh, as her other skills. So yeah, still a card that I use with her a lot, but uh, turn off the vision ability. Uh, otherwise, what else do I use with her? Omega? No, not really. This will give her HP. Magic resistance, that's okay. Uh, Diablos, I like to put this on a teammate of hers, so maybe Dwayne, maybe Super Stern. Uh, this will raise a dark attack for everybody. Also give uh, light resistance, that's a very nice card. Yeah, I think that's about it. There are other options, but yeah. Alright, so I think that was my review of Helena. Hopefully that didn't come across as a uh, low effort review. <laughs> I did say in my uh, tier list video that I just made the other day uh, that she is a crutch unit. That's probably uh, controversial, but I stand by that uh, statement. <laughs> She's so powerful that she can let you ignore uh, certain mechanics of the game because she's just so good that she can overcome them. She's the closest thing to an unbalanced character in this game. And like all units that came before her, and also all units that are coming after her in JP are compared to her, and none of them are as good as her. 
And so like um, Luel or Mua or the new uh, Drasip Gorasida, they all kind of pale in comparison to Helena, uh, which is not fair because Helena is special. She's just really good. She's a little bit too good. <laughs> Uh, if you love the character and the story, like if you were me and you fainted when you saw her in this new form for the first time in the story, that's great. If you are someone that is maybe busy and doesn't want to uh, like work with really like fussy characters that take a lot of work, that's great, you can use Helena. Uh, but for newer players, maybe think twice before going for her. For one thing, she's going to be harder to build because she is cost 100, uh, but because she is so strong. Uh, it might slow down how quickly you learn the game. I always feel like the weaker units you use, the better you get faster. <laughs> this goes for like any mobile game. But yeah, something to consider uh, about with uh, Hyper Helena. Okay, I think that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.